Nay baby, I'm back with another video. This is gonna be another keeping up with Nay Bay segment. Um today I'm really coming to I'm really coming to just talk about like how to not allow yourself to get stuck in a situation. Like just different things to pay attention to or things that I wish I would have paid attention to in the long run. I mean, now is the long run, but you know what I'm saying? Like, in the beginning, like, just different things that I wish I would have paid attention to and things that I wish I would have listened to or just followed through with. As far as my mindset and just how I feel about what's going on. Here's my book. Y'all are going to see me looking down at my book because I have like stuff written down that I kind of just want to like talk about the most or just, you know, pay attention to more. But I know y'all going to see me looking down and stuff like that. But I use this so that I don't have always have to say um and um and like and um. So I'm going to try my best not to like and um in this video. I'm just going to try to just go for it you know what i'm saying oh so this is basically about how to not allow yourself to get caught in a toxic situation like when to know to run like when to know to say enough is enough like this is what i'm gonna try my best to give advice on because i'm still learning myself and i still don't really have it all together myself and i still don't know myself but i know that how I've been feeling lately. I know I ain't the only one who's been through it. I'm not the only one who's been feeling it. Cause sometimes and lately, I really just been feeling lost. I haven't been feeling like myself. I've been feeling like I'm in a dark hole, like just dealing with so many things at one time by myself. Like everybody, any female should just really really pay attention to the signs like it's like sometimes repeated behavior is supposed to be noted behavior like you're supposed to note the repeated behavior because it's just like you're doing it you're not changing it like it's like we get to a point where we start to normalize repeated behavior Sometimes when you normalize things, it starts to make you become naive and oblivious to a situation. You start to like feel like you got it all together, but then you really don't have it all together because you don't know which way to go. Then you start to wish you just paid attention to the signs. When you start to feel a fear of speaking your mind, it's time to run. Like when you, when you start to feel like what you can say will make that person mad or if you say this will they leave you it's time to leave like it's time to just let it go before you allow your mind and yourself to just get too wrapped up in the situation some things are just better left alone before it becomes years because after days and after weeks and after months it becomes years and it becomes year after year of dealing with the same repeated behavior over and over again that you just wish you would have paid attention to and not everyone is the bad person like that person just might not be the one who is for you like everybody's used for a season a season and a lesson and every season you'll learn a lesson so just take heed to that in every season you'll learn a lesson so through every storm you'll learn the lesson so just pay attention like every storm is going in the sun is going to always come out again just pay attention so i have something on here and it says how to not lose yourself so i want to give advice to y'all about how to not lose yourself but i don't know how to exactly tell you because I'm at that point in my life where I feel like I'm losing myself. I feel like I don't have it all together. I, I feel like I'm just stuck somewhere and I can't get out. Like I feel like I'm in a like I'm in a trap box and I just can't get out because I don't know which way to go. I don't know which direction to take. I don't know which approach to take. To, I don't know which approach to take 
and I don't know how exactly to go about certain things. Um, one thing I can say, I guess, for you to not lose yourself is like, write notes in your phone and like, put headphones in, listen to music, tone the whole world out, and write notes in your phone about how you're feeling, the situation that's going on, and just see how many days you're gonna have to write in your notes. I don't really ever go back and read anything that I write in my notes because when I go back and read sometimes, it kind of sends me back to the place that I was when I actually wrote the note. Cause then you start to wish and regret where you are or how you're back in the same situation that you just wrote about you get what i'm saying like so i don't really i don't really do that too much i kind of just write in my notes just so it can like be out of my mind like if i don't want to talk to anybody about it i'll write it in my notes and i'll close it out and that's just that for some people i can say don't spend too much time alone um kind of surround yourself with people that care about you and the people that see the good in you or the people who motivate you or the people who make you happy don't allow yourself to spend too much time alone um, but I'm one who I when I'm going through things I kind of isolate myself from the world I'm good at putting on a show I'm good on I'm good at putting on an act I'm good at you know acting like everything is good but in reality like I really just be going through it I can't really give too much advice on to on how to not lose yourself I don't know I just say pray and just hope for better days and ask for guidance and ask for peace within your heart really that's that's all I can really say for real because I'm, I'm going through it myself don't allow a person to manipulate you like people will manipulate your mind people will tell you what they want you to hear people will tell you what they know you'll fall for people will tell you all the right things that they know will get you back um pay attention to manipulation um always stand up for yourself and when you believe in something and you know how you want to be treated don't allow that person to treat you in the way that you wouldn't allow anybody else to treat you don't allow a person to get you completely out of character stand up for yourself speak your mind don't allow someone to manipulate you into the fact of thinking that y'all gonna be good or you're gonna be happy or this is gonna work because once again pay attention to the signs pay attention to the repeated behavior everybody's different and sometimes people are able to change if you know what i'm saying but a person only gonna change if they want to change a person isn't going to change because you want them to change there's nothing you can really do about it like once a person shows you their true colors pay attention to all of the signs and telling you you can you can prevent yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of wondering and a lot of time wasted you really can you just have to pay attention and be honest with yourself and ask yourself is this something that you want to deal with when a relationship starts to become mentally and emotionally draining that's when you've started to lower your standards as a person and you're so lost of being in love or loving a person or the history of the relationship to the point where you're going to allow yourself to become mentally and emotionally drained don't do it to yourself it's not worth it a toxic relationship will make you feel like you're losing yourself in life it'll make you feel like you're not on the right path like yeah you have it all together but you don't have it all together, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I got my own crib, my own car, pay my own bills, I make my own money. But a toxic relationship has made me feel like I'm lost. It's made me feel like I don't know who I am. It's made me feel like, is this really what I'm putting myself through? Like, am I really allowing this to be 
me? Like, am I allowing this situation to completely control me? No matter how much it might hurt you in a way, you're going to have to pick up and leave. Some stuff you just can't stick around and put up with anymore. And I don't think you should. I don't, I don't think anyone should. But there's people out there that's like me. And because you love and because you've been through a lot with the person that you haven't been through with anybody else, it feels like it's love. But it's not really love. Like you can love a person all day, but they won't love you or could never imagine or could never fathom the fact of loving you the way that you love them. Because what they think they're giving you is love, but that's not your ideal vision of love. That's not your ideal way of going about love. What is love? That's, that's a real question. Like, really, what is love? What is love? Because I, I don't feel like anybody knows what love is. I feel like everybody has their own vision of love. Everybody has their own opinion of love. Everybody has their own definition of love. But... That's not really love. Like, what is love? Everybody's love is different. Everybody loves different. Everybody was raised different. Everyone is just different. So you just have to pay attention. As a closing note, I just want to say sometimes you just have to accept a person for who they are. You have to accept them for the signs that they're showing you because you will spend your whole life wanting a person to be something that you're imagining and they're never going to amount up to that. They're never going to be what you want them to be. My pastor said something that was, I don't know, it kind of touched me and it was like, we only receive the love that we think we deserve. So once again, what is love? That's a real question. Like, what is love? What do you think is love? What is the love that you think you deserve, but you're not getting? So those are things that I kind of self-reflect on every day and things that I just wish, you know, you can always wish, you can always hope, but I just feel like don't go back to what made you lose yourself. And this is coming from a person who's not perfect. Like I have my own flaws. I have my own toxic ways, like I'm not perfect at all, but I'm not gonna allow myself to keep losing myself over and over and over again after years now at this point. It's kind of just like, you gotta figure it out. I'm getting too grown for this. Life is just moving fast, like things are different. I'd rather get myself out of something now before I'm stuck with something for the rest of my life. If you get what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying, then you know what I'm saying. Like, for real, for real. I feel like you can love a person all day, but if they don't appreciate it, then they don't deserve it. Sometimes a person will never appreciate the love that you're giving until you're gone. Always remember that and mark my words because I'm telling the truth. That's a real fact. This is a situation where you will always be playing between or stuck between your mind and your heart. I'm telling you, your heart is going to always get the best of you every time. So please, I'm telling you, just any advice that someone's trying to give you, listen to it, pay attention to it take heed to it take notes to it don't lose yourself behind something that you really could have prevented if you would have just followed your mind followed your gut followed your first instinct i'm telling you just know just know yeah thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in my nails still broke but once again don't worry about me worry about you don't worry about me because i got me and you got you.